Hello to all. We are discussing some multiple choice questions which are based on sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Question number one. The two cell stage of the pollen grain is the result of. As we know very well that we know that in a pollen grain there are two cells. One is known as the generative cell and another is known as the vegetative or the tube cell. But the two cells are unequal. One is the generative cell which is small and another is the tube cell or the vegetative cell which is big. And both these cells are actually produced because of the unequal mitotic division. So the two cell stage of pollen grain is the result of meiosis, symmetric mitosis, asymmetric mitosis or amitosis. So definitely it must be unequal mitosis or asymmetric mitosis. Question number one is having the answer C. Now coming to the question number two, when ovule as well as the embryo sac is curved, when ovule as well as the embryo sac is curved like horseshoe, that the type of the ovule is called as, we know very well that there are six types of the ovules, okay? We know very well that anatropus, hemianatropus, orthotropus, right? Sarcinotropus, amphitropus, etc. etc. Okay. So when ovule as well as embryo sac, when ovule as well as embryo sac is curved, okay, just like the horseshoe, this type is called as so always remember it is amphitrophus. It is the characteristic feature of it. It is known as what? The amphitrophus type of the ovule. So question number two is having the answer B. The point of attachment of funiculus to the body of ovule. Always remember the funicle, the point of attachment of the funiculus, the point of attachment of the funiculus to the body of the ovule is the hilum. Whenever we study the structure of the ovule, we study this hilum. What is hilum? The point of attachment of the funiculus to the body of the ovule is called as hilum. So question number three, answer is D. Ovule found in 82%, ovule found in 82% of angiospermic families. Remember that out of the six type of the ovules, the most common type of the ovule is the anatropus ovule, which is found in 82% plant families, which is an inverted ovule. So, anatropus ovule, is the most common type of the ovule. Okay, so question number four is having the answer A. Now, in which of the following plant the number of ovules in an ovary is one? See, ovary may have one ovule or more than one ovule. Now, the question is in which of the following plant the number of ovules in an ovary is one? Mango, orchids, watermelon, papaya. Now, see. Orchids, watermelon and papaya have many ovules in ovary but the mango is having one ovule in an ovary. So in which of the following plant the number of ovules in ovary is one means that the plant in which the ovary contains only one ovule is the mango. So question number five answer is A. Pollination occurs by pseudo copulation mechanism. Pollination occurs by pseudo copulation mechanism. So it is given in your NCRT that ophrys, okay, is the plant in which pollination occurs by pseudo copulation, in which the male is attracted toward the toward the flower, which seems to be just like the female, okay. So this is pollination occurs by pseudo copulation mechanism in ophrys. Question number 6 is having the answer A. Long filamentous threads protruding at the end of a young cob of maize are. If you have seen the corn cob okay, or the maize cob, then certain silky structures are present. What are they? So long filamentous, long filamentous threads protruding at the end of a young cob of maize are, which are golden in color and that are the styles that are the styles so question number seven is having the answer c now perisperm perisperm what is perisperm perisperm is the remnant of the nucellus 
perisperm is the remnant of the new cells. So perisperm is present in beet, black pepper, both one and two or all uh, all angiosperm. So it is clear cut given in your NCRT that perisperm is present in beet as well as black pepper. So answer must be third, both first and second. Question number eight, answer is C. Right? And now coming to the next one. Question number nine. New cell at polyembryony is reported in the species of. Now what is polyembryony? Polyembryony means more than one embryo. Okay. So new cell at polyembryony means the embryos, extra embryos are formed by the new cell at tissue. That's why it is called as the new cell at polyembryony. So new cell at polyembryony is reported in the species of Citrus, Gossypium, Triticum or Brassica. So they are reported in the citrus. Okay. So new cell of polyembryony is reported in citrus. A option. Now the embryo sac of capsula derives its nutrition from. The embryo sac of the capsula derives its nutrition from. You know very well that the embryo sac is embedded. Embryo sac is embedded in the new cellus. And new cellus is the nutritive tissue. So the answer must be new cellus. The embryo sac of the capsular derives its nutrition from the new cell. So question number 10 is having the answer D. So all these questions are very important for the uh, neat purpose. Thanks a lot for watching me.